Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Gadget Dad. I want to give you some information on a new stock I recently purchased and put on my three gun competition rifle. Did some upgrades, got some hall passes from Gadget Mom for Valentine's Day to make some upgrades. So, this is um, my three gun competition rifle, which I will do another video on. Um, but I've originally kind of intended to keep it pretty lightweight. Um, I haven't done a lot of service to that because uh, one of the upgrades was this Vortex Razor HD. It's the Gen 2E, which is a little lighter, 21 ounces. Tried to lighten it up as much as possible with that. Um, but I'm I'm also uh, have gotten into reloading. So I've been doing three gun for about two years and reloading for about a year, um, which is a fun science project to kind of add to the the Legos of NAR, and uh, really trying to find um, the right bullet uh, for this and 3-Gun, uh, which kind of takes you into a lot of precision shooting and, and bench rest shooting as you try to find um, the performance out of the bullet that matches the barrel. Uh, this is a BCM lightweight barrel, 1-7 uh, twist. So one of the things I wanted to do is get an adjustable stock, so I looked on the internet, um, kind of 3-Gun stocks, and this is one that I found that was pretty popular. It's called the TAC Mod Stock. Um, and it looked pretty cool online um, with an adjustable cheek piece, um, obviously the butt stock. And then it comes obviously with this, um, this piece down here that you can put on a sandbag or obviously uh, put a rail on it, which uh, you can then put a a monopod on. This does not come with it here. This is a AccuShot. Um, I think that's about, I think it's 50, 60 bucks, which is pretty neat. I didn't expect to leave it. Uh, you know, I didn't plan to leave it on there just really to take it to the range um, and uh, do the do my test shots on the bullets to try to see what's most accurate with the different loads. Um, problems with this stock, why I'm sending this back. Um, first thing is it is not easy to configure, you know, there's, uh, it's, it kind of takes a hex bolt in here. Let's see if I can get it right there to adjust, um, the buttstock portion. And then these guys, which is a different thing, like why not just use the same hex? So you gotta have two different tools. This is pretty much a wrench or really wide flat blade to adjust that. It's not easy to adjust. I'll tell you that right now. It does adjust a lot of ways. It's just, you, you know, you're going to struggle adjusting it, especially if you're out in the field or um, out of the range shooting. Um, but biggest problem with it I have is the weight. Holy crap. It's 29 ounces, this thing all together. Um, so really blows my kind of six pound six and a half, seven pound AR with a scope on it up to nine plus pounds really quickly, especially when I had the scope. So um, got to get it back. I did not really pay attention and I, I reread the comments on Optic Planets and it, and it said worth the wait um, unless you're a biatch. And evidently I am. I'm mean, with a, with a uh, competition rifle. You want to keep it light so you can move quickly. Um, uh, and so I'm going to be going back uh, to normal. I mean, one of the things I wanted was um, a better cheek placement so that when you bring the rifle up quickly, you know that you're going to be right on. You're not searching for the scope because that happens quite often. So I, I have some plans for that. This is what I was running before. I put it on a uh, the SBR build. I did another series of videos on this, which seems to be getting taken down uh, by YouTube. But... This is a SBR build, a Spikes Tactical Pipe Hitters Union. Uh, go check that out. I talked through how uh, this build came out, came about. But um, I had this Voltor uh, stock on there. I think I bought it originally just because it looked cool. So this is what I was running on it, and that's about 9 ounces. And the buffer tube is about 4, uh, just in case you're interested with that. Um, so I plan to move back to... What I had, uh, this is actually what I was on, I had on the SBR. Um, I plan to put this on. So this, Mission First Tactical, um, shoot, what was it called? Minimalist stock. Um, pretty popular, simple, pretty much everything you need. Um, this comes in at six ounces. So saving some weight, 
tons of weight so this gun will get back down my goal will be in the sevens even if it's high sevens and then um, really length of pull i mean you can get it pretty close to where i have this guy set honestly without a problem um, and especially if you have like a six uh, six position mil spec stock so i can get the um, shoulder adjustment down it's just getting some cheek height to and, and that's doable um, i saw a company that sells the neoprene um, patches that can build up a little height on this um, so i plan to just try to tackle it that way versus having this big thing as far as the monopod you know you just a bag of sand use your hand uh, a lot of ways to kind of mimic that i just thought that was a cool add-on if i already had that tack mod stock so that's my take on it um again i'm i'm not a three gun expert or <laughs> or professional I'm a, I'd say a beginner at best, um, do some very, very small competitions. I've been doing about two years, but that weight just doesn't seem worth it to me. And it's a little gaudy, honestly, um, for me. I mean, I, I could see myself going out there. There's some expectations that come with a stock that looks like that. Now I could definitely see it if I was building a um, just, you know, bench rest range rifle. I think it's pretty cool. It's very, it's still really pricey, 240 bucks. And, um, there's other adjustable stocks. I know Magpul has got a great one, um, that could make a lot more sense for application like that. So I just don't know where this thing gets used, um, and where it kind of fits. I think it was developed, um, by, I don't know much of the history of it by some military branch. So, Maybe some of you can uh, comment, fill me in why I'm an idiot and don't understand uh, why this would be used in a three-gun competition or um, it would even possibly be used at the range. So maybe it's just more durable. Maybe it's something awesome that I don't know about. Please tell me quick before I put it back in the box. It is The cushion on the back was did surprise me. It's like a lot of cushion, so kind of um, kind of good, I guess, but not sure why you need that on a... 556 five, platform. So that's my thoughts on the TacMod stock. That's why, for me, it's going back. It's just too damn heavy. It's a, it's a pretty solid boat anchor. You'll notice the difference. Um, I'm not a small dude. Um, about 5'9", 220. And still, I still don't want to be carrying around an extra two pounds or, you know, pound and a half if I don't need to, especially if I'm trying to move this gun around quickly. So hopefully that helps. Please comment. Uh, let me know what I'm missing.